In this video, I'm going to show you how to define margin left using your CSS code, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video. This is Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials for you. With that out of the way, let's learn how to apply margin left in the screen capture. I'll see you there. And to illustrate this, I've created a simple HTML page that you can see on the left-hand side. You can see the markup of it on the left-hand side. You can see how the page displays in the browser on the right. And I wanna add some margin between the green box and the red box. So I'm gonna apply it to the left-hand side of the green box. To do that, I just go into the selector for the green box and I type in margin left and a number of pixels or a percentage of how big I want the gap to be. So I want it to be 15 pixels, save the file, refresh the page, and we've added a 15 pixel space between the red box and the green box. But maybe I want to add some space between the red, or sorry, the green and the blue as well. So to do that, I'm going to do it in a slightly different fashion. I'm just going to use the margin property and type in zero for the top, zero for the right, zero for the bottom, and 15 pixels for the left. Save the file, refresh the page, and we have a 15 pixel space between the blue and the green. So what you'll notice is that using this format, margin-left, 15 pixels, or the margin property using these this sets of values delivers the exact same result. So the one you use is really a matter of preference. If you're gonna be doing a lot of margin left, margin top, margin bottom, margin right within the one selector, it's better to go with just the margin declaration because it'll save you a lot of characters and the, let, the fewer characters you have in the file, the faster your page will load. And it's not gonna make a big difference if you have 50 or 60 extra characters. But if you start using bloated CSS code by not compressing things into just uh, a margin property and you use that all the time, you use margin left, margin right, margin bottom throughout your entire thousand line CSS sheet, then you're gonna save a whole lot of page load speed by compressing that just into the margin declaration. And that's how easy it is to apply CSS left to almost any element on your page. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials. And next up is clicking one of these videos that appeared on the right hand side for more awesome learning. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.